What's up guys, it's Nikhil from Technest. So it has been more than 4 months since OnePlus 8 Pro was launched. So when it was launched, this phone was is very much in news for its special camera setup, which appears to have potential to see through the objects and subcertain material. This effect is commonly known as infrared photography. So due to a lot of controversy happen on it, at last OnePlus pulled out this feature from the phone. Now the question is, what would be the reason behind having such camera setup which is never used in this industry? How it works? And do we still enable this camera? The answer of last question is yes, we can. So we will discuss all these unanswered questions in this video. So let's get started. So first we will try to understand what is infrared photography. So this filter was initially used by Robert Williams Wood in 1910. This effect produces some very distinct effect which make photo aesthetically pleasing. The most striking difference is the wood effect, an effect where leaves reflect the light giving them a bright white look and having high contrast black and white color. So if you see these photos where leaves appear frozen over and sky take on dramatic color in both black and white and color photography. In the recent time, infrared photography has a strong appeal for a fine art photography, also for portrait and wedding photography, where skin looks much softer and most blemishes disappear. Now after seeing all this picture sample, you must understand why OnePlus used this feature in their flagship phone. As we all know, OnePlus is known as flagship killer, where in their previous phones like 6, 60, 7, 70, their specifications are up to mark with the high-end phone which is available in the market like Samsung high-end Galaxy phones and iPhone. But in one department where OnePlus is unable to compete these phones is camera. Now with OnePlus 8 Pro, they did lot of experiment with their camera and come up with a very strong setup which is liked by everyone and able to compete with other flagship phones and produce similar picture quality. As per my understanding, OnePlus would thought that depth sensing effect is very common effect these day and explored by almost all the companies. But they want to do something different with their new camera setup and try to add a new feature which is only available in a DSLR where you have to buy a filter and start taking a pleasant photos. But with OnePlus 8 Pro, you just have to open your camera app, go to the filter, select infrared, that's all, you are ready to take moment. This filter also had grey area as well, which OnePlus was trying to hide it, where it allow us to see through few materials like thin plastic or some cloths as well. So at last, they disable this function by applying filter on it. And this is not the first time where infrared photography was in controversy. In 1998, Sony launched a handy cam, having similar theory and went through the similar controversy. Since they do not want to be part of any controversy, they stop the manufacturing and get rid out of it. Latest in 2015, Fujifilm launched a camera with the same setup, mainly geared towards crime scene investigation, healthcare application and for the scientific purpose. Now we will try to understand how this camera filter works and why not our eye capture the same. So this is all about the wavelength. Normal human eyes can only capture the wavelength of visual light having the wavelength approx from 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer. But when we talk about a normal mobile camera, it can capture the wavelength from 300 nanometer to 1000 nanometer and also allow to see something more than the human eyes. For example, or if you want to test, you can take an example of your TV remote control. When you point infrared blaster of a remote control to a camera which is mostly on the top of the remote control and press any button, you can see a red light blinking from the IR blaster. But if you try to see it through your naked eye, you cannot see anything. Now when we apply infrared filter to a camera, then it extends its capability and allow to capture the wavelength from 700 nanometer to 1200 nanometer. So this is all about OnePlus and infrared photography. Now I will show you how to enable this filter in OnePlus 8 Pro.
Let me know whether you like this video or not and provide your suggestion to improve my video. And do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the future update. Till then, be safe.